Well, the movie Mean Girls, written by comedian Tina Fey, hit the big screen in 2004 and quickly developed a cult following. A musical adaptation premiered on Broadway in 2018, and now a touring company is bringing the show to cities across North America. Mean Girls is currently being staged at Overture, and for one of the members of the ensemble, this is a homecoming of sorts. We talked with Platteville native Sydney Mai Roof Wong as she returns to the Overture stage. What do you like about this show? I I think it's a good night out. I've been interested in the arts ever since I was born, I think. My mom says I was a very dramatic person. I mean, you can see it in all my baby photos, in my toddler photos. I'm just always portraying a character and dressing up. And she always said that I could dance before I could walk. My stepfather growing up, well, at the time, he was a professional ballet dancer, so he was very involved in the arts. He loved creating theater and movement, and we all were just a family of people who loved participating in the arts and being involved in the community, so we um, participated in most of the shows for Pop Factory Players in Darlington, which is where my mom grew up, so she knew all those people. And growing up in Platteville, was there a lot of opportunity to express your art? There were opportunities. It was a small town, so we were all very close, and we all knew each other and everything, but we had access to Madison, we had access to Dubuque, Iowa, uh, which provided a lot of opportunities. I took ballet at the Dubuque Academy of Ballet um, ever since I was six, until I was 18 and going off to college. So you went off to college, went to UW Milwaukee? I did go to Milwaukee. And what did you study? What was, where did you want to focus? I studied musical theater, so I have a BFA in music theater, and I chose Milwaukee um, because they were giving me money to go there, first of all, let's be, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> and I wanted to live in a city, finally. It's a big, bigger city, and it's beautiful, it's right on the lake, and I loved the fact that I could be involved with the dance department, and the theater department, and the opera department, and not have like a very strict conservatory-style musical theater training, but that I could have more flexibility in my training. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it has some really good core values, but it's not taking itself too seriously. And it's, yeah, it's a little raunchy, and it's it kind of makes fun of um, the the stereotypes that we hold on to, like just uh, in our subconscious. And I love that it it teaches girls that, and young people, all young people, that it's okay to be yourself and that we get tripped up sometimes when we try to fit into a certain group or be someone we're not and that it's okay to realize that and apologize and move on and, and yes, just fly your freak flag. <laughs> Sydney's family, including her grandmother and both parents, went to school at UW-Madison. So. Boy, that is exciting yeah. for her. She was in all the high school plays yeah. and, and musicals. And, and it's here at Overture for how much longer? Sunday. It runs through Sunday. Through Sunday. T okay. Tickets available at overture.org. We'll final check of your forecast coming up.